While many have welcomed the bank's slapdown, experts believe customers will be collateral damage. The recommendations force banks to clamp down on credit, making it hard to get home loans, further stifling our housing market. The recommended new laws might be tough on banks and the financial sector, but they're likely to make life harder for customers as well. Consumers, whether they're home uh, buyers, uh, house buyers, young or old, um, effectively be dealing with financial institutions who are now having to reach a higher standard of conduct. The danger is these new laws, agreed to by both sides of politics, will make it tougher to borrow, to get insurance or to change super funds and potentially more expensive. In short, the credit squeeze that caused home prices to fall could continue. That's one worry about Kenneth Haynes' recommendation that home buyers, not banks, pay for mortgage brokers in future. But this might be amended as it's exactly the opposite of recent recommendations by the Productivity Commission. Don't judge banks by their words, judge them by their actions in the coming weeks, the coming months, as they implement this report. But for the next 12 months, customers with complaints dating back 10 years can seek compensation from the newly created Financial Complaints Authority. Some of the Royal Commission's harshest criticism and recommended legal action was directed at Superfund trustees who did not act in their members' best interests. It's a scathing assessment of con conduct driven by greed and behaviour that was in breach of existing law and fell well below community expectations. <clears throat> one result will be in future, people will be limited to having one default super fund to prevent their balance being eroded by unnecessary fees and insurance contributions. On that subject, the Royal Commission especially targeted the National Australia Bank, whose Chief Executive Andrew Thorburn has been on extended leave since Christmas. We have not had the care and respect for our customers that we should have, and for that I'm sorry. The Commissioner says at NAB's practice of charging superannuation fees but providing no service in this respect showed an unwillingness to obey the law. Kenneth Hayne QC says in this regard the NAB stands apart from the other three big banks. With damning findings against the banks, the ANZ CEO Shane Elliott's picture opportunity selling newspapers for the homeless seem odd, to say the least. Well, I think uh, the people are interested, then I'm selling the big issue. But some victims who gave evidence to the Royal Commission are doubtful banks and finance companies will change their ways. Like Ryan Lowe, whose family was aggressively pursued by Suncorp after his father Peter was killed at work. Banks are greedy. You know, they're, they're only interested in money. They're not interested in you as a person. And Stephen Weller, whose pub was repossessed by Bankwest, even though he never missed a repayment. There's just no reason for me to believe that they um, will change their tactics at all. At Christmas, Suncorp sent Ryan's mother a letter addressed to her husband, who's been dead for three years. We've been through a Royal Commission and the banks are still getting it wrong. And Nine's finance editor, Ross Greenwood, is in Canberra for us this evening. Ross, the report was released after the markets closed. What impact do you think it'll have when it reopens tomorrow? Well, there's no doubt, Peter, that this information was market sensitive because, say, for example, I think one headline tomorrow you'll see come out is at least three of the big banks have been treated relatively leniently, perhaps more leniently than expected, along with the AMP. So you can expect that their share prices will rise. So that'll be the ANZ, Westpac and even the Commonwealth Bank. But the National Australia Bank, which, as I say, has been singled out for a special treatment by Kenneth Hayne QC, you could almost imagine its share price will fall. And as I say, the future of its chief executive very much is in question. Then there's the issue of mortgage brokers, again, listed on the stock market, and their futures in doubt as to which way the government might move in the way in which they'll be paid into the future. As I say, all of this will be played out on the stock market tomorrow. We'll be watching closely. Ross, thank you.